I'm sure it is designed for the people on the move. Mobile technology has made our work to be more easy than it used to be. In fact, the mobile money has transformed the way we work. The purpose of this research is really to understand the use and the impact of Mshwari amongst the Juakali sector in both rural and urban Kenya. The word Jua means sun and Kali the hotness of that sun. It signifies the informal sector in Kenya. Juakali is 90% service industry. We're talking of masons, we're talking of plumbers, we're talking of all the artisans. The Juakali sector is very critical to Kenya. It is the one that employs so many people every year. About 19 million people are self-employed in the so-called informal sector. The only way we can provide solutions to unemployment in this country, which is a serious national problem, is by expanding the Juakali sector. Before the mobile telephone came along, the bankable populace was very, very little. For a long time, the traditional system has been walking into banks physically. Some of us who had accounts would walk maybe from Kaloleni to Mombasa, 44 kilometers, just maybe to make one transaction. This in itself cuts are quite a segment of the population out of the banking services. There were many difficulties for artisans. Opening an account with maybe Standard Chartered or Barclays, it was very difficult. I'm sure I can just say it's an idea that came at the right time. It's a product that has been developed by Safaricom. Which allows people to bank electronically and to access credit electronically. It's really to help provide access to resources, small loans, uh, and also access to savings for many small and medium-sized businesses. Like us here in Juakali, there are things which we shop in, in small quantities and uh, within a very short duration. And you know, in that short duration, you can't go to your bank in two times in one hour. But with this sanctuary of yours, it is very easy. Instead of uh, taking my 5,000 shillings to the bank to deposit in my account, the account is here. You don't have to move. Nowadays, I've reduced in saving at the EPT bank because of time. After working here, I get money, I just deposit in the evening at the Mshari. You can borrow money from Mshari in cases where you need money to improve your business. You'll just go borrow some money from the Mshari. You give an amount to pay with a very, very low interest any time that you're short of money. There are a lot of people who would like to use Mshwari, but sometimes the basic understanding of the product is not there. It's a very good service, but I'm just, I don't know how to use it. To myself, I do understand it's like an account, but I'm not all that sure. Most of us don't understand exactly the transactions that goes on through Mshwari. That is what I want to know. What is Mshwari? What is it for? What are the benefits of it? The biggest challenge is that of loan. The conditions are not uh, very easier for small earners to borrow. They don't tell us how much money you have to put in that account to qualify how much money to borrow. 
Among some of these challenges is a lack of adequate awareness. They don't know who is the owner of the Mushwari, whether it is Safaricom or Commercial Bank of Africa, they don't know. How is this link between this central bank and Mushwari? The product is good, but it needs follow-up. Safaricom and that other bank, they have never taken that active role of promoting Mshwari in the Juakali sector. But if I'm explained more about it, I'll get more interested. There might be a benefit to me. Most of the people here want to register in Mshwari, but they don't know the process. Many of the mobile money services are available in urban settings, and they're often more understood in urban settings. The people in the rural regions often don't have as much access to financial institutions and resources. Most of the technology is in English, and most of these people do not understand that language. What we hope that will come out of these research is that the findings will help encourage service providers and policymakers to ensure that the practices they have in place and the policies they have in place really engage the Joakali sector more in the Kenyan economy. I wish I'm sure it would either be translated in a vernacular language or maybe in Swahili, where majority of this community understand it better. Safaricom or its agents need to move to the grounds and explain to the people how to use these uh, facilities. Nobody could think that you could do business through the phone. It has really transformed lives. The saving with the M-Shuari gives you a solution to your financial needs. m with the other modifications and improvements can be taken higher than what it is doing right now.